Hello everyone, welcome to our daily devotion. You know, like many of us at times or another, it just seems like the harder you want to do something, the more you want to do something, the harder it is to do. And this today has been no exception. Um, I did not sleep well last night, so I got up late. I've been trying to get my devotion done. And the harder I tried to get to get myself in gear to come to you today, the worse it was on me to get it done. Um, you know, to be perfectly transparent with all of you, um, I've struggled a bit, and it's been um, it's been a struggle to keep myself motivated to do things. Um, most of you know who watch my channel know that I suffer from anxiety and depression from time to time. And it's been really bad. And a lot of it has to do with being stuck in the house from COVID. As I'm sure most of us have gone through this from one time or another. And, um, but today I decided not to let the devil win. <laughs> um, you know, in the back of my mind, well, it's already late. It's 2 o'clock. It's, it's too late. You should do your devotion tomorrow. And I didn't want to do that. So, today I want to tell you a story. It's about a man who loved Jesus, and he followed him wherever he went, and he was right there to defend his Lord. But when Jesus died on the cross, that man denied Jesus three times knowing him, because he was afraid that he would be killed as well. And, you know... Um, the tremendous guilt he felt when he heard that rooster crow must have been overwhelming. Because I know when I do things I'm not supposed to do or say things I shouldn't say or, you know, sins by omission, you know, and not not being stronger in my prayer life, not being stronger in my uh, Bible readings and stuff and journaling things that I need to do. I feel a tremendous amount of guilt and you know um, I'm sure Peter did too but we have to remember the whole context of the story you know Jesus sent himself to a cross man didn't really do it he used men as a vessel to become a sacrifice for all of us because he knew the only way that we could ever be truly saved is through the blood of the lamb and that lamb unblemished lamb was himself Jesus but you know what Jesus didn't hold that against Peter he didn't dwell on the past and in John after Jesus' resurrection, they had been out fishing, and and Jesus in Simon Peter they drew up a net full of fish, and um, Jesus said, "Come, let's eat." And none of the disciples questioned him because they knew who he was. He was the Lord. So after they came, and Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them and the fish. This is the third time that Jesus was manifested to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. So when they finished, Jesus said to Simon Peter, who had betrayed him, and this is in John um, excuse me, 21, verses 15 is where it starts. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And he said to him, Tend my lambs. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And then he said to him, Feed my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. 
Don't you find it significant that Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him? To me, as a symbol of the three times that Peter denied him. But more than that, Jesus didn't bring up the fact that, hey, you denied me. Why should I believe that you love me? How come I shouldn't hold this against you? Because that's why he died on the cross. For forgiveness of sins. You know what? Jesus died on the cross for our past sins, our present sins, and our future sins. And the thing that he wants to let us know right here is, if you love him, feed his sheep. Take care of his sheep. And who of his sheep? Those around us. His people. That's my story today. And that resonated with me. That story was told in church Sunday. And uh, it resonated with me because how do, we, how do we show God we love him? How does he want us to show him? By taking care of his sheep? Sharing the love of Jesus Christ with all whom we meet? That's the reason I started our daily devotion, was to be able to share encouraging words and the love of Jesus with all who want to listen. And it's never been my intention to shove anything down anybody's throat. But I love the Lord. And even though there are days when I don't show it, I really do and he knows my heart and thank goodness for that but we shouldn't let our struggles and our past sins and and all the things that sometimes we feel guilty about stop us from doing what he told us to do which was tend to sheep we strived for the perfection of Christ but we'll never be perfect not until the day that we are reunited with our Lord in heaven will we ever have perfection. But while on earth we need to tend to sheep. And what a awesome time it is right now with the way the things are in this world to tend our sheep. To look out after each other and to love each other. And to share the love of Christ with each other. Yesterday, in a little article that I had written on Facebook many years ago, I said that becoming a Christian doesn't ease your life from struggles. It doesn't guarantee you a life without hardships. No. It's the opposite. You will struggle. You will have hardships. And I don't know why. The Lord sometimes allows us to stay in that place. But the one thing I do know that he's never left me there alone. He is always by my side. Facing each day and each struggle with me. Side by side. And he will do the same for you. If you trust him. And put your faith in the one who created you. For he loves us and he knows you better than anybody else in this world because he made you. So what's your story? How do you share with others and tend to sheep? I would love to hear from each and every one of you who are out here watching. Please leave your story down in the description box. And if you don't have a problem with me reading some of it, please let me know that as well. I would love to share your story here on our channel. God bless each and every one of you. I pray for you every day. I pray for our country, for the situation that we're in, for our economy, for our government. All those things we need to be praying for. 
And if you have a specific prayer request, please leave that below in the comment section as well. God bless you and have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with another daily devotion. Bye-bye.